you. You did this to me. I can decrypt and re-encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. You're right, I did. But I never thought I'd be staring the reason for its activation right in the face. I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. At this point, I can't blame Delgado for activating the bomb. If I was in his place, I'd do the same thing, without hesitation. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. I must be a complete fool. Because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me, but I sincerely hope this isn't another one of your tricks.
How quickly can we get that done? a victory. Hopefully they amount to something. the job personally. I've always treated you like one of the fleet. I paid you well. Touch of the ropes. And still you're going to pull this shit on me? What the hell happened to you? You had Crix's legacy in your hands and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Yeah, sure. Like Ikande is going to shower you in credits for doing your duty like a good little toy soldier. Give me a break. You'll be lucky if he does any more than just pin a medal on your uniform and put your picture on SSNN. Looking out for number one, huh? So you did pick up some of my dirty habits. Maybe I taught you too well. You know, when we were on Suwarov, 
I saw the potential for you to become a badass pirate. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. We know you are still human. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? <laughs> you got a funny way of showing your appreciation. Now you have the nerve to piss on the fleet and tell me it's raining? Get real. And I suppose you want me to think it ends outside a prison cell and not in. Still, a prison door opens, just like any other. Better a painful death than a humiliating one. Sorry, Rook. You betray the fleet and you get a traitor's death. One way or the other. You and I both know that the moment I try to leave the station, Ikande will either attempt to capture me or blow me out of the void. No, I refuse to go out that way. If I am going down, I am taking the key with me. No one will ever set foot on the station again. <laughs> Your arrogance is unbelievable. You think I'm doing this just to be rid of you? No. I simply refuse to be the first person since Jasper Griggs to allow UC Sistef to take over this station. If this is truly the final chapter of the Crimson Fleet, then the message has to be sent that we did not go silently! Ikande must be so proud that he has turned you in a noble death, is it? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. Greetings, Captain. 